As part of activities to commemorate the 64th anniversary of Nigeria's independence from the British colonial rule, the leadership of Lagos mainland local government held a drug sensitization program for primary and secondary school students. The council chairman, Omolola Isen, seized the momentous occasion to caution pupils about the dire consequences of substance abuse, urging them to remain steadfast in their educational pursuits and strive to make positive impacts on the nation. She highlighted initiatives undertaken by her administration to revitalize the education sector in the local government. Yes, celebration focuses on the importance of education and the detrimental effects of cultism, drug abuse and addiction. We have to address the education of substance misuse among adolescents, teenagers and youth, which has led to mental health issues and loss of lives in our society. This program has been carefully crafted to make a positive impact by enlightening you and broadening your understanding of the dangers associated with such behaviors. The pupils were exposed to the values and habits that make a successful person, as well as habits that could truncate their future. Substance abuse is first and foremost a destiny killer. It is a destiny killer. It steals your destiny from you. Whatever God is, that the Babalawo, the pastors, and the marabouts has promised that you will become of you. By the time you go into substance use, those things will not manifest. The ceremony was spiced up with cultural presentations and dancing competitions as pupils shared their thoughts on the sequence of events on the day. I learned that substance abuse is the misuse of illegal drugs that can affect us mentally and physically. It is the way we use drugs. It, it can also be bad by using prescripted drugs that overdose. And I learned that the consequences of drug, drug abuse is that it is a destiny killer. It, it brings shame to our family. One me to know that it's not good to take bad drugs and keep bad friends. And we should run away from bad friends. And our mommy should keep our eyes, uh, our eyes on now, us. They should, put, they should put them sometimes for us to take care of us. And they should guide us. Relevant council principals shed some light on what informed the Design Digestion program, advising the pupils to cultivate habits that will impact them positively and shun bad peer groups. They should, the people growing up these days, they should not join bad gang. And they should always listen to their parents and their teachers. They will never mislead, mislead them. They should not follow bad, bad uh, people. They should not make friends anyhow. They should study the person they want to befriend, either male or female. They should study the background and choose well. They should keep away from drugs and also bad influence, bad friends. You know, peer, peer group is a problem to our society. Depends on, they say, uh, show me your friends and I will tell you who you are. So if they keep bad friends, they will definitely, and also the parents should look after their children and make sure that they know what they are doing, what they are watching on the telly, what they are discussing with friends. So advice also goes to the parents as well, not only to students alone, but to each and every one of us that are parents. The 64th anniversary of Nigeria's independence provided an excellent opportunity to sensitize Lagos mainland pupils on the essential qualities of outstanding and impactful citizenship.